Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going for an Yngwie Malmsteen rhythm and lead sound. And we're gonna do it again in real time, and we're gonna try to do it in about five or 10 minutes, just so I can show you guys that it's not really that hard to dial in a Yngwie type tone once you kind of know how to do it and you have the chops to be able to play some of his stuff. So for guitars, I'm actually using my Mexican Strat, which has single coil pickups which is the type of pickup I would recommend using for this type of tone. I know Yngwie plays that stacked single coil pickup, which can kind of be considered a humbucker, but I think a standard single coil pickup really kind of nails the Yngwie tone a lot more. Now let's go ahead and just dial in our amp. For amps, I'd probably use something like this. So we can probably use this one. I would crank the gain quite a bit at about nine. Bass, I would drop that a bit to about three or four. Because I know having some Marshall amps and played several of them, they do get a little bit flubby, especially if you're using like the neck pickup and Yngwie uses the neck pickup a lot. So I would recommend putting the bass low. Mids, we can keep them at around four. And then treble, I would raise that to about seven or seven and a half. And then presence, we should, we can also keep that at around seven. And uh, yeah, we want the master at ten. And let's go ahead and put an impulse response. I use some of these own hammer impulse response. I think they sound great. And so let's just pick one. And let's go for a low cut of about 80. So we can get rid of some of those lower frequencies that we don't want to highlight. And let's go ahead and see what that kind of sounds like without any further kind of dialing in. <laughs> As you can tell it sounds pretty weak we definitely need to overdrive the amp so let's go ahead and add an overdrive so I know Yngwie is kind of known for using the DOD so that's what I would recommend let's drive it at around eight or nine I think that should sound pretty good so let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like <laughs> So that already sounds a lot better. Um, what I like to add to this kind of stuff is definitely an EQ so we can shape our sound a bit more. So let's go ahead and add some EQ to this. I would make the tone a bit brighter. And then let's cut some of these lower frequencies as well. Let's go for kind of a big, really full sounding delay because especially modern Yngwie uses a lot of delay and really um, adds a lot of just, the way I describe it is that he, he drenches his tone with a lot of delay and other kind of effects. For settings, I would say delay at about 600 milliseconds and mix at around 30 or 25. That should sound pretty good. So let's see what this sounds like. sounds pretty good One thing 
thing I will say about Yngwie's tone and style is that I feel like a lot of people, especially when we're, when we're trying to replicate his tone, is that a lot of the tone is in the fingers and the technique, so you really have to have his style down and kind of understand the way he picks and, and really play with that aggression that Yngwie plays with. I really want to highlight when you when you bend, you know, you really have to just... You know, you really have to get that aggression in there and not forget about that because it's certainly a big part of the tone. kind of short little noodle kind of highlights that kind of aggressiveness that I'm talking about that you want to play with in order to kind of really bring out that fury that Yngwie plays with and it's something that you don't really dial in it's really something you have to dial in with your fingers and your technique you have to really understand and listen to a lot of Yngwie's music to really uh, grasp that aggressiveness that he plays with and that real fury that you really want to represent if you're trying to mimic his style but uh, before we end the video, I also want to uh, let you guys know about a giveaway that we're doing. I'd really like to grow my channel and share as much knowledge with you guys and really grow the community. So at 1,000 subscribers, we're giving away a John Petrucci signature wah pedal. And I actually have a demo of it on my channel, so you guys can check that out. And if you're interested, all you have to do is just subscribe. And uh, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, as a thank you to all my first 1,000 subscribers, everybody will have a chance to win that pedal. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and subscribe. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. And hopefully guys, we'll see you in the next video.